Yeah, hold on. I don't need y'all know where I live or nothing, even though most of the people that watch this channel already know. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we are going to be installing new coilovers. I am so, so pumped because we're actually putting new things on the car, on the Datsun. Uh, it's going to be awesome. I'm mean, kind of a little how-to, kind of I'm super excited, and if I forget something, I don't care. So, not really. I'm going to try to get everything on here on this video. So, let me go get them because I still haven't opened them. It's, they've been here for like two weeks. So, pumped. Whew. So the new coilovers we got, nothing but the best for that crappy car over there. I'm just kidding, it's not crappy. Don't talk about it that way. Pumped! And I'm sorry this is not a very good angle. I still haven't bought a tripod. I broke it in the last episode. That's also why I looked like this. If you haven't checked that out, we actually built this workbench that we're using right now and installed this light that's overhead. That's why the lighting's a little bit better. Just a little bit. Uh, you can check that out in, I don't know, one of the corners. Yes. Fantastic. Satisfying. All right, I'm going to be a little selfish here. I'm going to be the first ones to see. Oh my gosh. Another box. Sweet. This is actually what you pay all that money for, is uh, the stickers. So, yeah. It also comes with um, the Allen key for the top for the little bit of the camber adjustment that these have. Um, they don't have a ton, but hopefully I won't need a ton. And then adjustment wrenches, adjust your ride height, all that good stuff, you know. Slam it on the ground the way cars were meant to be driven. I'm going to unload the rest of these, and uh, we'll show you them all spread out on the nice new workbench. Alright guys, so as you can see, we've got our front left and our rear shown with the original front left and rear. Um, there's also the front right and rear. So the rears don't really matter, they're just labeled R, so you can put them on either side. The fronts have like an FR and the other one says FL. We know this is the front caliper, right? So the next step is we are going to measure this off it's a um, one and, a, and three quarters inches up and then we'll cut that straight across um, we're going to do that on both of these so let's hop into doing that That's the part you need. All right, guys. So I've got all four of these cut, and so what I did, what I didn't show is uh, yes, they're full of hydraulic fluid. I'm sure you saw that on the other one. So the best thing to do that I've learned to do the hard way because I sprayed it all over the place. So what I did is I took them and I uh, would face them up like this and have them rest right there in that position. And then what I would do is uh, cut a hole in the top to, uh, until I got to the hydraulic fluid just with the angle grinder. And then what I did is like put them on top of my uh, oil drain or you know where I put all the oils and things like that and just let them leak out of there for a while. Uh, that way most of it was already out by the time I took it over here and cut it all the way down. This was from three, three of, out of the four and so that's not terrible and it's not going to ruin anything and the cardboard soaked it right up also cardboard's great for soaking it up the other one however uh that one's going to take a little while to clean up so i already spent like 20 minutes on it and i probably need to spend another hour trying to clean all that up um so you live and you learn but at least i'm doing this so that y'all don't have to be 
doing the same mistakes that I made. Um, anyway, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we are going to clean up all the edges and then we're going to wire wheel everything. Um, we'll tape off the top where we're going to where we're going to weld. Um, I'll show you all exactly where that is, and then um, we'll hit it with a little coat coat of black, a couple of coats of black. That way it's all protected for the future because this rust look is just not working for me. So we'll get to shaving those down. Oh man, I got really dirty from cleaning those things off. All right, so y'all saw me flat disking the tops over there. Basically, some of them, it doesn't matter if it looks good or not, you're never ever gonna see it again once it gets welded on because the BCs uh, cover the top. But what I'm doing is just making sure it's all sitting below um, two inches. That way we make sure that those, BC, those BCs fit on there snug. The camera's about to die, but I'm almost done for the night. I'm gonna go over all of these with some brake clean, just clean them all out, any leftover hydraulic fluid, grease, any of that. And then I'm gonna throw some of this rust reformer on it. Um, I'll tape off these edges down here that are gonna be welded. And obviously like these areas and the insides, those aren't gonna get painted. So um, I'll show you all that, but let me hop onto this. nastiness all right guys so on here i shot them with a little bit of rust reformer because there's a little bit of rust on them um didn't have the time to wire wheel them like crazy so i taped all the gaps where the welds are going to be as well as the things that we don't want taped as in here and then in here i've already pulled that out and whatnot and i sprayed inside there that way it's not going to rust in the future so the reason for doing this is because i didn't want them to flash rust uh, this is actually a couple days later because the battery camera died and it was late so i went home um, but I did tape off these edges so that they wouldn't get painted because this is what's going to get welded on. And then if you look here, it's easiest just to take the bottoms off of the BCs. I have them all laid out, so you just unscrew it, and then you can take it, and they just kind of place right on here, just like that, and weld them up at the bottom and call it good. So we're going to tack them in place and then weld them all. All right, guys, so I've got some bad news. We're going to have to break this into two parts. You can probably tell from the title at the beginning that this is going to be a two-part episode. But um, as you can see here, we taped this off. That way, when we pulled it off from the black, it wasn't all painted on, so we could weld our cups onto it from BC. However, we have a problem. So this car, as stated on the VIN, is from August of 74, which according to... This should make it a 260-280 kit. However, the more I read online and looking at our front valence here with the turn signals in the valence rather than in the grill, we have a 240Z body style, which would make these an early 260, which means it'd be the 240-260 kit. So that was my mistake. Um, so when you put these on, they're not really snug, they jiggle around a lot. Um, and if you look in here, so you can see the difference. Um, I'm holding up it against one side, but this should be a snug fit all the way around, and it is not. And then we use our calipers here just to check. And it's just under 51 millimeters. And we come to our BCs here. And... Oh, pff, wrong direction. And they're just over 55 millimeters. So one of our buddies had a spare set of 51s from um, a different car when he was putting his BCs on. 
and these are 51 millimeters off of a BMW. And we just wanted to see how snug it was, and it is absolutely perfect. Um, it won't fit, but you can't even see a gap when I'm lifting it up and down where the light was, like you could see with those. So unfortunately, we have to send, after doing, reaching out to BC and everything, uh, we're going to have to send the whole kit back, and we're going to have to get the extreme low kit for the 24260. But we're going to go ahead and chug along to the next episode and do the fuel, the second part of the fuel cell, putting that in the car. A little sneak peek of it in there. All right, guys. So that unfortunately is going to do it for today. Um, you know what? stuff happens these just aren't the right ones um, and it's not that big of a deal we'll get the right ones in and go ahead and finish up this episode but I did want to have something for this upcoming week to go ahead and put out uh, next week we'll have that fuel cell like I was talking about before and hopefully after that we've got a lot of cool parts coming in the mail so hopefully we'll get to stick those on and maybe the BC's will be here y'all make sure to like comment and subscribe uh, Share, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I'll catch y'all next time. Oh, this is so sad having to put these back in the box. Oh. But we'll get to open up another one.